Welcome to Computer Repairs with Rob. Today I wanted to show you how to clone uh, a disk. So I'll be cloning today from a hard disk drive uh, over to a M.2 drive. And just to show you, this is the uh, two point, it's actually 2.5 inch uh, West, uh, Western Digital Black. And the problem is it's slowing down a bit. And so we're going to put onto a M.2 drive, which I've mounted onto this adapter, it's a USB adapter, and it, this is an NVMe uh, M.2 drive, and um, so we'll mount that, we'll put that in the USB port, and put the other drive, hook it up directly to the computer, and we're going to use a program called LazySoft Pro. There are many programs out there to clone, but I uh, want to show you how to use this one, and also in this we'll show you how to deal with a the drive which has BitLocker on it because normally when you clone a drive it just clones and that's it but if it has BitLocker on it uh, some programs such as this one won't won't uh, clone it in the normal way so there's there's actually two ways to get around that one within the program by doing a sector by sector the other way is to get rid of the BitLocker within Windows on the original computer before you come to the cloning process all right, so let's uh, stay tuned and I'll show you what's next on that. So right now I have the original drive hooked up uh, directly to the computer. And then of course this, uh, this drive here is plugged into a USB 3 port. And this is the bootable, it's a bootable LazySoft uh, program, which is in the process of loading up. So here's the screen, the startup screen, and we're gonna click on Disk image and clone, and then hit OK. It doesn't really matter which one is there. Let me go to disk uh, clone disk, and you'll see there's a number of disks here. This top 240 gig is uh, is the drive that I have in the computer, which I'm not going to clone. So here's the one I want to select as my source disk. This 500 gig Western Digital, that's that block drive. And you'll notice that it has BitLocker. I'm going to talk about that in a second. I'm going to hit Next. And then as the destination drive, I'm going to choose this one here. It's a one terabyte. It's actually a Western Digital drive, but it shows up as this Micron because of the USB adapter that it's using. I'm going to select that as the destination. I hit next. And I'm going to say hit, I'm going to select fit partitions to entire disk. And there it, it essentially fills the disk, even though this drive, I'm going to have to extend this, or uh, sorry, I'm going to have to um, minimize or shrink this partition and then extend this one later. Anyways, I'm going to hit next. I'm going to show you what's going to happen. So it just confirms what, what, you, what we want to do. Source disk is at 500 gig. Destination, one terabyte, so that's good. You obviously don't want to uh, try and clone from the empty one to the full one because then it, you just lose, lost everything. So then we hit start. It warns you that data on the target disk will be overwritten. Are you sure you want to continue? You hit OK. It says locking destination drive, and right now we get this error. An error occurred while cloning, and that is because of the BitLocker, which is on the source drive. I'm going to show you again. So here, select a source disk, 500, and right there is that BitLocker. That BitLocker prevents uh, this program from being able to clone the way we did it. Now, there's a way around that. There's actually two ways around that. One, you could uh, remove the BitLocker function uh, by in Windows on the original drive, on the original computer. Uh, you, you can go into System and Security and you can uh, remove the BitLocker. There's also a Command Prompt feature where you can uh, type a command into Command Prompt and then you can remove the BitLocker feature as well. Now this, in this case the BitLocker isn't actually locked, it hasn't actually been triggered, but it is there. So we have to remove it. Um, that's the one option. But however, we can get around it by doing something else. So if we select sector by sector copy, uh, then it will actually clone the drive. So if we go next, 
destination drive again we want to select the one terabyte and uh, we hit next and then we don't it doesn't give us some of these other options that we would have had otherwise and then we hit next and again it, to confirm we're going from the 500 gig to the one terabyte we hit start and another confirmation okay and now we'll see what happens so now you can see it's calculating the time we're not getting that error and after a moment or so it'll finish calculating the time it'll t this one probably will take about an hour and a half roughly to do uh, when you do the bit the sector by sector it does take longer but that is the way you can get around the bit locker feature that prevents normally prevents you from cloning just in a regular clone uh, function. So now you see that it's showing the remaining time, uh, about an hour and 17, 18. It, it changes a bit uh, as it goes along. It'll probably take, in, in fact, about an hour and a half. Uh, lapse time, 1.44, and it will continue and uh, until it's complete and then at that time you can shut it off and you now you're you'll have the clone drive onto that uh onto that m.2 drive that's hooked up to the usb adapter so that's that there is a like i said there is a command to to remove the bit locker from windows on the original computer with the original drive in it and uh, uh, that one i can perhaps show you later but anyways for now that's that's that have a great day.